Matteo Berrettini is a successful Italian professional tennis player who has established a name for himself in the world of tennis. Berrettini hails from the country of Italy. Berrettini, who was born on April 12, 1996, has had a surprising amount of success throughout his career. According to the Association of Tennis Professionals ATP, he has achieved a singles rating that is the highest has ever been in his career, world no. 6. Notably, he achieved this feat at all four Grand Slam tournaments, making him the first male player from Italy and the first male born in the 1990s to do so. He also became the first man born in the 1990s to do so. His most noteworthy accomplishment occurred in 2021 at the Wimbledon Championships, when he competed in the final of the singles competition and showed his extraordinary talent and courtcraft. He won the match. The year 2015 marked the beginning of Berrettini's journey into the world of professional tennis. In a short amount of time, he was able to establish himself as a formidable opponent, capturing two singles titles on the ITF World Tennis Tour and three on the ATP Challenger Tour. Because of his achievements, he broke into the top 100 in the ATP rankings in May 2018. The Italian athlete Matteo Berrettini is quickly becoming a favorite among tennis fans, and he is looking to win a significant amount of medals at this year's Wimbledon tournament. However, the 27-year-old golfer has a challenging match scheduled for Monday at S219, when he will compete against the top-ranked player in the world, Carlos Alcaraz. The details of Matteo Berrettini's private life, particularly his romantic history, continue to pique people's interest. Through the documentary series Breakpoint, which is available on Netflix, tennis fans got a taste of what Matteo is like when he is not competing. The viewers were shown how the athlete deals with the pressure of the game, and they were also shown additional details about his relationship life with Ajla Tomjanovic, who was also a tennis player at the time and was his girlfriend at the time. Who exactly is Matteo Berrettini getting at the moment? Melissa Sada, a model and TV presenter who is 36 years old and Matteo are now dating. At a dinner in Miami, the two people introduced themselves to one another, traded contact information, and have since been thoroughly enjoying each other's company. In an interview with Vanity Fair, Melissa provided additional information regarding the nature of their connection. There were 1,000 conversations taking place on WhatsApp, which went on forever was what she stated. I've had dinner with folks and we swapped numbers, but the majority of the time, that's where it stops. Not in the case of Matteo. If any of us are still alive now, it is because back then we were able to get together in several different cities. The actress, who is living in Milan, is not only a model and a TV presenter, but she is also a mother to her son Maddox, who is eight years old. She shares custody of Maddox with her ex-husband, the former Tottenham footballer Kevin Prince Bowden. Before getting divorced in 2020, the couple had been together for a total of nine years and married for four of those years. I suffered a lot, it was a hard blow because I did not expect it and because it was not my choice, she disclosed. It was a hard blow because I did not expect it and because it was not my choice. That's how everything turned out, but right now, I couldn't be happier. The most essential thing is to work for a single objective, which in our case is Maddox and things are moving in the right direction. In the meanwhile, even though Melissa and Matteo appear to get along swimmingly, the pair's relationship has generated some difficulty for Matteo. This is because tennis fans have blamed Matteo's relationship for his recent losses, notably his elimination from the Australian Open. In an interview with Style Magazine, Matteo referred to these criticisms as disrespectful. It would be the same as stating that a writer is less qualified to write articles because he has a family of his own to care for. Is it possible that this is something that does not make any kind of sense at all? Who did Matteo Berrettini date before becoming famous? Matteo dated Australian tennis player Angela Tomjanovic before beginning his relationship with Melissa. Melissa is an American actress. The couple documented sections of their relationship in the Netflix documentary Breakpoint, in which they could be seen providing comfort and support to one another while they competed in major events. The couple first started going out in 2019 and dated for a few years before deciding to end their relationship in the spring of 2022. Angela was candid about their relationship when they were still together. She said, you can hear people say that they never date a tennis player because they don't like that they always do the same thing, that it's always about tennis. However, when it comes down to it, we don't talk about tennis that much. When we need to chat with each other about anything, it's incredibly great to do so because we understand it better than anyone else. It's only normal that I'll react the way I do, and that he'll react the way he does. The realization of the lifestyle and the significance of the most important things is a really pleasant thing. It's always comforting to know that everyone's on the same page. The most certainly is effective. Who is Matteo Berrettini's girlfriend? Matteo Berrettini is presently dating Melissa Sada. She is a well-known Italian television presenter who rose to the top of the industry thanks to her participation in a variety of shows. Bellissa Sada rose to notoriety as a showgirl on the satirical Italian series Striscia La Notizia. 
Melissa was born in Boston, Massachusetts on February 7, 1986 to Italian parents who were originally from the island of Sardinia. During her formative years, she split her time between the United States and Sardinia. Her architect father, Enzo Sada, also had a political career during which he represented Casa Smeralda and worked closely with Prince Ava Khan IV. Her mother is an interior designer. Melissa has established a name for herself in the modeling world in addition to her work in the television sector. She has been featured in Maxim Magazine in 2010. She received the privilege of appearing in the swimsuit issue of Sports Illustrated, which is considered to be the most prestigious swimsuit issue. Melissa has demonstrated her athleticism through her participation in women's football and karat, both of which she has achieved success in at the Sardinian Junior Karat Championships. Melissa has a background in athletics and has demonstrated her athleticism in the past. Melissa is keeping up her standing as a recognizable person in the entertainment industry even though she is now based in Italy and working there. She is continuing to make waves in the television presenting industry. Her varied skills and talents have helped her achieve success and established her as a renowned presence in Italian media. Her background includes both academic and professional work. Matteo Berrettini and Melissa Sada Relationship Timeline The meal to Miami is where Matteo Berrettini and Melissa Sada had their first encounter, which led to the beginning of their relationship. The 36-year-old TV presenter and model and the Italian tennis pro had an instant connection and exchanged numbers, which led to the beginning of a blossoming romance between them. Since that time, they have taken great pleasure in one another's company, which has contributed to the continued success of their relationship. Melissa disclosed in an interview that they had countless WhatsApp discussions that never seemed to finish, demonstrating the strength of their bond and their ongoing communication. Melissa and Matteo have continued to be supportive of each other despite experiencing some criticism from tennis fans who blamed their relationship for Matteo's recent defeats. These fans blamed their relationship for Matteo's recent losses. Matteo defended their romantic relationship by calling the criticism rude and drawing a parallel between it and the assertion that a writer is less qualified to produce articles because they have a family of their own and a spouse. Their love story is still being written, and they are managing the ups and downs of their relationship while simultaneously moving on with their careers. Did you like it? Tell us what you think of the video in the comments section below, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more interesting videos.